In 1985, Dinosaur Jr. released their first album on Homestead called Dinosaur. It was a standout record then. It is a standout record now. The evidence of which you are about to experience several seconds from right now. There is no opening act, ladies and gentlemen. It is all Dinosaur Jr. all night long. It's time to bring Jay Lou and Murph to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm New York City welcome for Dinosaur! at the Bowery Ballroom in New York. This week is the 30th anniversary of the existence of Dinosaur. We were looking at three to five nights, but then they got sold out pretty quickly. So now we're doing seven nights. I think to do something like this, it would have to be New York because that's really where we played our first shows and really kind of coalesced as a band was in New York. We played here more than anywhere else back in the day. It's a really interesting album to play because I was just learning how to play guitar and I can't figure out how I wrote all that stuff without being able to play that well because it's still hard to play now. Initially, Jay's songwriting was just like throw all everything against the wall and see what sticks. And at that point, when we got that together, we were kind of equally influenced by Neil Young and Black Sabbath, Me Puppets, Husker Du, Black Flag. And Jay kind of stuck all those things together and threw them on that first record. And it was kind of before we'd really found a definitive sound. We were playing that stuff when we were literally 20 years old. It's funny, I think they were some of the first songs that I really imprinted on me as a kid, you know, because I learned how to play to those songs. So we really only had to flesh out a couple of songs that we hadn't played in 30 years. We're having just people that have been influenced and, and have influenced us come to the show. It was great, because I'm fans of pretty much every guest, and to hear them play Dinosaur Jr. songs is really pretty amazing. Seeing a lot of the old faces coming around from back then. I enjoyed the first album more last night than I've ever enjoyed it. There's a lot of energy in that record that maybe the production didn't bring out in a way that when they played it live, it was unbelievable. Henry's been officiating the shows. And he's actually going to sing with us for the first time, which is a huge rush for me. Rollins sang. We weren't expecting that. I hadn't seen him sing in a long time. He really gave it his all. Having stood in front of them so many nights of my life, over 29 years, it's nothing like being on stage. The sound is different. It's kind of terrifying. <laughs> it's Not only is it loud, but the power of this trio is fairly overwhelming. And on that particular song, the band is, you know, going for it pretty hard. Over the four nights I've been in my perch watching the band play, the second set with Bob Mould on stage, I can't believe the place didn't explode. It was unbelievable. I have to say, <laughs> it was like one of my best moments ever. It still amazes me that, you know, people will be like, oh, thanks for letting me do this. And I'm like, dude, thank you. Like, don't thank me, like it just blows me away. The other night after the show, I was talking to people in the crowd and like the vibe was just so amazing. We had Charles Bradley that night, Tim Gordon saying, that was awesome. Real fun night. I mean, these are great. I mean, so many people from back in the day. The fact that we're all here and still making music and people are still showing up, it's, yeah, it's a pretty great thing. To come out and jam with them is always a lot of fun. And, you know, that's what I look forward to is just the intensity 
of the sound when you're up there, that close to Jay's amps. Hey, congratulations on 30 years. 30 years of dinosaur. Happy 30th anniversary. It's pretty rare to get to 30 years together as a band. You don't predict that a rock and roll group is gonna be your life's calling or your life's work or something like that. And it's kind of magical when it happens. All right, thank you, everybody. Good night.